The Space Documentary Drama Apollo 13 is a great film in its own right. And it's actually based on a true story. It's based on the Apollo 13 mission. And I must say, this was my first time looking through this. And this was quite the viewing experience. Directed by Ron Howard, who's actually directed some awesome movies throughout the years. I literally did not know what the Apollo 13 mission was about. I never knew the parameters of it. So watching this film was a nice history lesson. Basically, the original mission to Apollo 13 was to land on the moon, but due to a technical issue, the second mission was to just get home safely. And I have to admit, while this movie does have its slow moments, it does do a good job of keeping you on the edge of your seat considering how many intense moments there are percent in this film. This movie is great from the acting to the cinematography to the characters. It all comes together to make quite a memorable film even more than 25 years later since its release. And the music is just as epic considering it was done by the late James Horner. Like literally this guy had the epic uh, movie soundtracks throughout the decades. So the music all throughout this movie, it makes a lot of these scenes not just iconic, but it adds more to the storytelling in my opinion. And while this is only the third film I have seen from Ron Howard, he was able to direct this film, which is so informative to those out there who don't know about the Apollo 13 mission. And in my honest opinion, this is one of the best films from the 1990s. Now the reason this film is so great is the mere fact it's a tale of survival and hope. Like literally watching this film, I was saying, you know, as intense as this is, this is some good storytelling. Obviously based on true event, like I said beforehand. But it's the acting that really makes this worthwhile. Now the chemistry between Tom Hanks, the late Bill Patson, and of course Kevin Bacon, it works. Like the scenes they were in when they're in space, I'm like, you know, yes, this is going a little bit slowly, but they had some interesting interactions. Even Gary Sinise and Ed Harris, their acting was real good as well. Like everyone's acting in this film, you know, it's great. Basically, those five main actors carries the movie. And one thing I have to mention, it's funny because when they're actually going out into space, there's sound. And I'm like, you know, there's no sound in space. I always thought I nitpicked that one part because it's not realistic in terms of the whole space travel, but as far as it being true to the actual Apollo 13 mission, it is. Yes, it's exaggerated a little bit, but that's to make the movie more interesting in my opinion. Nonetheless though, this is a film I would recommend, and even though it took me a long time to finally check this one out, I was thoroughly satisfied with this one. I don't give this film an AI 10. To quote Ed Harris from this movie, failure is not an option. This movie is highly successful. And yes, this movie could have been a little bit longer, but overall, I had a good time with this one. But obviously, this film, it does a whole lot to keep you engaged with the characters. And quite frankly, I even teared up a little bit towards the end of this movie. And the mere fact, this one is so critically acclaimed, actually won some awards. And the legacy for this one also speaks for itself. It is a simple tale of the human spirit surviving, and that's something you really gotta appreciate in a film like this. At the end of the day though, this is a film I would recommend to other people who hasn't seen it because it has heart, it has character, there's ambition, and this one still gets appreciated more than two decades later. And that's my review of the film. Apollo 13. All right, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this movie. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying peace out.